when the Lamb opened the seventh seal, silence covered the sky, 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 covered the sky. Salam tanat, enayis, telin, greetings. You want to address, once again, in a continuing series, the image of the beast, the mark of the beast and the image of the beast, because Revelation warns us that there will be a certain image in that Satan, or the, the old dragon known as Satan, would deceive the entire world. And when we study Revelation, we see that World War II and the events of World War II are very significant, including, of course, Ethiopia and the King of Kings of Ethiopia and the particular contest that took place between the forces of of Christ versus Antichrist or in the manifestation of Antichrist against Christ. And we see the whole Mussolini and Kedemawi Haile Selassie conflict and these two individuals and what they represent and the two churches, the two women. You understand speaking of the true church and speaking of the mystery Babylon represented by Rome. But we're going to address this one as counterfeit, counterfeit Christianity and the counterfeit Jesus, the counterfeit Christ. And here's what we have to address with this particular image. The particular image you're looking at and that we're looking at here is called the Head of Christ. It's from 1941. And it's by a particular individual named Warner Salmon. Now, this is very interesting, the background and the story of this particular, um, the origins of the so-called head of the Antichrist. They call it the head of Christ, but we need to understand that this is the continuing Borg Jesus, the Borg Jesus and Caesar's Christ. This is the Caesar Caesarian, Caesarian, Caesar Borgias, the update on Caesare, Caesar Borgias. For example, we went to the Wikipedia, and it's by an artist called Warner Warner Salmon, Warner Salmon, uh, Warner Elias Salmon, and his story is on the Wikipedia site, and you can check it out. You can look it up, Warner Salmon, S A L L M A N, or you can. Um, we'll probably maybe put it in the link so that ones who want just link to it, so they can find out the truth for themselves concerning this particular image here. Now, this particular image is interesting because um, the Salvation Army and the YMCA, the Young Male Christian Association, as members of the USO, uh, handed out pocket-sized versions of the painting of this image. And this is during the time of World War II when the war was conducted against the Kedusan, against the saints, and speaking of the war of mystery Babylon or Rome, represented by Mussolini, against Christ and his kingly character, against the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, Moa and Bessazem Negeri Yehuda. That during this very time, this is where, when it speaks about that, the, that they gave life to the image of the beast, and cause it to live. You'll see that after this resurrection of this Caesar Borgia image, or the Antichrist, the counterfeit Jesus image, that they would come out with the movies, the moving picture. So therefore, this is how they gave life to the image. It was the image of Caesar Borgia, this image that they call the head of Christ, which is the head of the Antichrist, or the other Jesus they actually gave life to that image and caused it to live again, both live within the, the consciousness or the subconscious mentality of the people of the world during this prophetic time in history as well as scriptural prophecy. But it was during World War II period of time that uh, pocket-sized versions of the painting were handed out to American servicemen heading overseas during World War II. So this is very significant when we recognize that this image from 1941 is a retake on the Caesar Borgia image, or the Caesar Borgia, the, or the Latin, what we call the Italian Jesus, or the Caesar's Christ, or the 
the, the papacy Jesus, the Romanist version of Jesus, which we recognize from the histories, actually, someone named Caesar Borgia, one of the children, the son, illegitimate or whatever, son of uh, Pope Alexander the Sixth, who reigned roughly around the time of, uh, uh, um, what was it, the 15, what was it, 1492, 15, 1500s, roughly right around there, between 1492 and the early 1500s. Um, but this particular image is the particular image that you need to, to note right here. Because Walter Salmon, he was a so-called uh, anti-Christian painter from Chicago. And he created commercial advertising images so the one who created or recreated and once again helped to resurrect the Antichrist or Caesar's Christ or the Borg Jesus, which is Cesare Borgia, he actually was a commercial advertising um, artist, a freelance illustrator, and he is mostly associated and known for the head of Christ, of which more than 500 million copies have been, the key word here is they have been sold. So it was very interesting we found this Wikipedia page on the head of um, the Antichrist. And just a word to the wise should be sufficient. This is not the image, this is not the humanity of the J.S.U.S. Christ of the Bible. This is the Antichrist. This is the mark of the beast. And when the Lamb opened the seventh seal, silence covered the sky. 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 Covered the sky